Okay. Let's find out what is going on with this lady. <sighs> what is it? Let's see, what do you know about the Silver and Crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me after all this time? You know, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on, for her sake as well as yours. Take control, be rid of that thing once and for all. But, 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 but no, no, that's not me. What do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That's, he's, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, okay, so... That was uneventful. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I should probably sleep. Uh, we're gonna head back and see, um... See what kind of crustaceans I've gotten. And I think what I can actually do... It didn't tell me the name of them, however... Uh, wonder if... This shows the crabs. It doesn't look like it. Here, what if I just do this? Uh, There's a lot I haven't gotten. But yeah, this doesn't seem to show... Yeah, it doesn't seem to show the crabs. So I wonder if that means that you can pretty much get them anywhere. Yeah, it must be. Okay. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna sleep and then I'll check the, uh... I'll check the traps. Alright, let's see what we got here. Actually... <laughs> that might... That might be it. Added to Encyclopedia. Well, I'm clearly... Clearly missing something. Oh, I am. What's it under? Huh. Alright, well. Either way. Those might have been what I needed. I know I don't need these things. Ooh. Oh. Uh, okay. So I know I don't need those, so I guess I'll... So, oop, I'll sell them real quick. And I don't think I got... Nope. Put that there. Ooh. I don't want to accidentally sell them. Ooh. Alright, well. I'll go deal with this real quick and then I will. Then I'll sell them. Because I don't want to accidentally uh, sell what I need because I definitely haven't done that before. Perfect. Alright. All the same stuff happens again. Couldn't find space, huh? Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. We're gonna end up having... My guess is we're gonna end up having to fight this guy to get that, uh... Get that book back. And I'm wondering... I was kind of thinking the other day that maybe... Maybe the wife is the monster. Or that, like, there's... There is a monster, and it's the wife. Wow. I'm good at that. Let's see, so I don't need that with me. I can sell this. Okay! Let's go start some fires. Oh, yeah, and then I'm gonna need to open the lighthouse there. I wonder, do I want to try to do that before I do whatever this is? Nah.
Okay, statues. The middle one. And the last one. Okay, is this gonna be the end of the world? Preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. All right, let's talk to him. Uh, what is it? Let's see. The flames are. Li I'm looking for sunken relics. Nah. The flames are lit. The beacons are lit. Uh, ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps to the temple uh, of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. I f it found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. It's almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Um, stand back. You are rooted to the spot. Oh, the wind. Ooh, look at that. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Uh, say nothing. A freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect it. All right. Thank you, sir. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Cool. So, that's not what I meant to do. Find more tablets. Um, bring them when I find them. Okay. Well, what do I want to do? I wonder if the tablets are just all going to be around here. Eh. I'll get around to it later. Let's head back. Still haven't used that, um, workshop. You climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. What do I want to do? I feel like this is going to end the world. Maybe I should, like, try to be somewhat moral. Conceal the relic. What is it? Let's see. Tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb? Your hypocrisy is we wearying. Uh, I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. Uh-oh. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Oh. Who? You wanted to forget begged me. The room bristles. Oh, am I the guy? This is what you asked for. Give me this book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Oh. Oh, ha ha ha. 
You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. <laughs> we wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Alright, can we get in here? Aw, oh, man. Deliver the relic? He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I do not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. We will see her again soon. It will all be worth it. You know this. Know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time I will be with you. I need some time to prepare. So be it. Return when you are prepared. Well, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I just kind of went on autopilot there trying to get all the options. So do I have... I mean, I have to have everything because the collector is me. No, okay. Uh, what about my pursuits? Um... I guess... Alright, whatever. End of the world is more interesting anyway. Let's do this. I'm ready. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Let's go. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Yes. One more time. That's okay. Yeah, yes, I understand. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Ooh. All right, now our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. A shape disappears from the mirror. A chill raises in your body as you turn to leave. The collector is with you. Okay. Here we go. Hold on. Yeah. All right. This must be it over here. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us, and where we, we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. You open the book, its pages are frosted with ice, and a chill mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time, you throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. You throw the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. You slot the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned.
Well, that was horrifying. Hey, screw the world. I got my wife back. <laughs> oh, no. I guess I'll just let this roll. Well, I stuck around to see if anything happened, but it just stayed on Greater Marrow there, which is a little disappointing. I kind of, <laughs> if I destroyed the world, I wanted to see everything else destroyed, but um, yeah, I don't know it. So I enjoyed it. I was fun. It was, I mean, it was relaxing <laughs> in kind of a weird way. Um, the story, I guess, wasn't. I think maybe if I had taken my time with the lore a little bit, uh, a little bit more, I think maybe what I did is, um, you know, usually I get caught up in side quests and things like that, and I avoid the the main story for a while. That's usually how I play, and that's probably how I should have approached this game, because uh, I think there's maybe a lot of world building and stuff that. I missed out on because I was just trying to follow the the main story. So, um, I don't know. I, I enjoyed myself. I think it's a good game. Uh, there is an expansion, so I don't know, or DLC, I guess. So I don't know what is in that. Uh, I might get around to it. I think for now, though, I'm going to move on to, uh, to the next game. So hopefully you enjoyed it, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care.